All right, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the Eldar High Elves, sorry, not Eldar, the High Elves Phoenix Guards, the Fantasy Eldar. Um, so in this one, uh, I've got uh, 15 guys here in a unit. I did them up on a movement base and um, sort of traditional colors here, uh, except that uh, the gold is all non-metallic gold. And I'll talk a bit about that. And uh, I think as I did this, I realized I really need to do a, a proper tutorial for that kind of a live video one. So this is just a bunch of still images, um, basic uh, paint scheme here with the addition of uh, some of the flame colors there and I'll show you that. And uh, so yeah, basic uh, for the silver bits used my normal metallic silvers. Um, for the blue details I actually only uh, went up to techless blue. I didn't bother doing too many more highlights because there's such a small amount of blue that's visible. Uh, white details, uh, you'll see that on the cloaks when I spin these guys around. And the non-metallic golds, um, so that's mostly on their helmets and the, the chainmail there. And uh, surprisingly that look uh, on the chainmail is super, super easy to do. And I'll, I'll explain a little bit of that later. Uh, gemstones, so I didn't do all the gemstones, just the ones in the helmets and the spears. And... Uh, flesh, I did a very, very basic flesh. So I just kind of actually did even less than this. So I just did Bugman's Glow and Kislev Flesh because uh, you can't really see anything except for their faces. So I just did a tiny, tiny bit of a highlight. And on uh, flames, so this is on the banner as well. So this is kind of sculpted into the back. So the, the shape and outline is quite easy to do. And what I did is I started with black and just added reds down to yellow at the very bottom. Okay, so started off with a gray primer. And I uh, did my blues first, um, figuring that the inside of the cloak there was going to be the hardest part to get later. And then did my XV88 base coat for the golds. And there we are with the whole, all the guys. Um, I put magnets in the bottom of them, which uh, you won't really see in this. Uh, next up, I did all the silvers. Um, in hindsight, I might have preferred to have done the silver first, or maybe right after the blue. Uh, I'm not really sure, but either way... I like to do my silver very, very early in the uh, the paint job, just because I find that silver ends up getting on lots of other areas. Okay, base coating the flesh, and uh, again, I mean, if you took a really close look, you'd notice that I didn't get the flesh down inside the the armor there. So, you know, if I glued those heads on later, it might have helped. But I find if I glue things after painting, then the uh, the glue never sticks, and the things all fall apart when I drop them. Okay, so. Um, uh, doing the black on the spear there and doing the tips of those flames there. Uh, again, in hindsight, I'm not sure that this was the best way to do it. I had a really hard time doing the gray. Not hard time, just it took forever. So uh, there I am doing the reds, so just leaving the tips of the flames black, not worried about blending it too much. And now I've got all the base coat gray on there. And doing the banner at the same time, um, sort of grays in here, some reds, and I'll blend that red down to a, a yellow at the very bottom. Okay, so now I've done my washes. So that's the um, the base wash there. So that's a Agrax Earthshade, a uh, nice liberal wash. You can see how it pools in areas, and I use that for my deep shade for my non-metallic gold. And you can see there as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's the only shade that I do. In theory, you probably would want a darker one, but uh, I find this works quite well. Okay, and I've got my silver there I'm highlighting now. Just trying to pick up the edge highlights on it. And these guys are starting to look a little bit better. I've also got one layer of gray highlights on, and I've done the bases. I like to do the bases um, kind of midway through the whole thing, because I find that at the end I just have no no appetite for doing any more work uh, on that unit so if I can get things leave some of the best stuff for last then it's uh, it's kind of rewarding when it's all done and the other thing you may have noticed that I glued them on before doing the bases so I painted the whole thing um, a dark uh, dark brown and then use some of the texture paints just on the flat areas that I could access with a paintbrush and I didn't worry too much about getting the stuff that's underneath them because you'll never see it Okay, so working up the highlights here, you can see I've got my oranges. Uh, I guess that guy there is in focus. So trying to keep the things, um, the flames kind of jagged looking, but now I've got to paint inside the lines because I've got another layer of gray on there. 
and that same gray is coming on here so just leaving some of the shadows in and around the flames which uh, I did this these flames on on the banner more of a traditional style um, especially the ones on the Phoenix uh, just because I figured you know what if they're painting it on there they're not doing it real you know with like black tips and all that sort of stuff um, and uh, for that matter there's no you know uh, object source lighting from this flames on the Phoenix behind it there you go so I've got some of the oranges and yellows working up there and I've got my yellows all on the background there so I just watered it down nicely and it flowed in there and I made sure it was thick enough that it was going to be opaque and there's my uh, base there so again with the oranges I'm going to do a bit more yellow on there and there it is on there so you know you look up close it's not perfect it didn't blend everything just uh, perfectly but these guys are um, you know 20 or 15 of them I got to paint up so yeah didn't didn't spend a ton ton of time on them I mean the whole unit took quite a while but each individual guy not a lot of focus okay so another layer of uh, highlights on here getting to an off-white color just not quite white and I actually don't even highlight these things white at all um, this is all grays and so I've got that all highlighted and there we are done on the the cloak so I don't love how how sh how stark that is that contrast it would have been better to blend it a bit more um, but really I just shouldn't have used that dark of a uh, gray should have started up one lighter and I think I remember doing the same thing with the dragon princes and uh, I totally forgot when I got to these guys okay so now I'm doing the first highlight over top of the wash here and uh, so you can see I actually use reaper paints for this so I'm using Palomino Gold and Buckskin Pale, I think, are the ones. And I uh, find that this one here just blends so nicely. Uh, the basic idea on the non-metallic golds is to have it you know, pretty, pretty solid at the top and then blend it down a little bit. And that's all I'm doing on each of these surfaces here. Just solid at the top and blending it just a touch. And, um, and then for the, the chain mail, all I'm doing is running the brush over it and picking up some of the natural uh, high spots and I find that that worked out really well with these guys so again all I'm doing with the with the uh, chain mail just taking the brush making sure there's not too much paint on it and just running it over the surface and uh, trying to focus on the areas that would be higher up so naturally what happens is you don't get any of the highlight right at the edges where uh, where the, the the chain mail joins up anything else so which is good because you don't want a reflection there and uh, and then with the next highlight I'll do the same thing but just a little bit less of it and at this point I'm really liking how these helmets turned out I always dread doing the non-metallic gold on my high elves and kind of wonder uh, maybe I should just switch over to a gold and then I see results like this and like oh yeah that's, that's why I do this so it really really turns out nice and it's a pretty stunning finish uh, now I'm painting the black so I'm just doing just the, the raised bits there making sure there's a little amount of paint on my brush and running it over sideways and also touching up any of the banner poles or the uh, the halberds. Okay, so then my um, what am I doing here? Oh, so I'm doing my gemstones. I painted them all black, as well as that. And I really like ranking these guys up, getting an idea. This is kind of my motivating uh, pose. Okay, so now the gemstones are done. So I just took a red and uh, kind of brought it down to the bottom side, and then a bit of an orange, and then a white dot at the top. The white dot is critical and then one last highlight with the the gold and so I basically focused on just the tips of the edges on things and on the the top surfaces just very very little just to bring out the sharpness of it and that's these guys done so we'll just run around the the models there um, I added a bit of static grass as well as you can see just kind of random bits here and there to help add a bit of character and uh, yeah, these guys are done. Really cool models. Really happy to have these as part of my high elf army. A um, couple things that I wish you know I wish I'd blended those cloaks a bit better. Uh, but I I think the uh, the non-metallic gold redeems these guys. And so I'll be sure to do a tutorial for that on its own uh, video and it kind of explain how I do it and show you how easy it actually is on these guys. Surprisingly easy. Partly because I've done you know. A, decent sized high elf army with them but regardless and there's the banner 
And we'll just look at the champion now from all angles. You can tell I didn't I don't spend a lot of time on the silver. Um the whitish the the cloaks not a ton of time. I mean well a lot of time but not a lot of effort really uh or thinking and a little bit of extra time on that fire there cuz I think that's a bit of a focal point for these models. And yeah, there's the command section with the drummer and just a really stunning set of models. Can't wait to see them on the tabletop. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you check back for other ones. Check out my other high elf stuff and uh let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or or uh questions about anything else. Check out my blog. See you next time.